Ahoy and welcome to this narrowboat adventure. Today we are cruising. I know it's been a little bit less action filled as we would have liked. Uh, obviously winter comes with its own perils and I'm not going to take my camera equipment out if it's raining, although it is raining now so I might have to uh, today, but I'm going to figure something out, maybe some sort of bag set up so if the sound is terrible I will have to talk over the top separately but we're gonna we're gonna keep calm and we're gonna carry on so that's what we're doing today I've got a friend coming to help so you may well see a uh, new face in the videos um, so he's just coming because he's interested in narrowboats and just we always would like a hand with the locks um, we're doing a route from Mile End and I'm not quite sure where we're going to end up, we'll find out at the end of the video. Um, but yes, you're all coming along with me and so I wanted to just let you know what was going on. Job number one, this yellow fender rope was not long enough. not really sure what to do with this knot. If anybody has any advice on how to tie a fender rope that has a loop on the end that doesn't fit through the hole in your fender, please tell me in the comments. So now, this is Hartford Union. Okay. It's the shortest canal on the network. On any network? Well, the UK network. It goes from here to Stratford, well, Hackney right. Wick. And then that's where we're going to be turning onto the Lee. Today. There's a boat shop just on this side called the Little Boat Shop. Um, definitely worth calling advance because they're not always open. Right. Like today. But can be really useful if you're moored here. Okay.
Yeah, that, that one's called Clover, that. That boat. Oh yeah, you were telling me about that, and you just kind of botched it, didn't you? No, we didn't. It was botched with water. No, not as in. Like oh, and you, then you we made put it back. Bracket, we fixed you? it, broken. We fixed it in the same way that it's previously done, and then we got the new one. It's and it stopped raining. Yeah, that's a real joy. Oh. My day was lovely. <laughs> I experienced the slightly less romantic side of uh, narrow boat life, namely toilet emptying and uh, just a generally pissy day um, and typical bush weather. But that's kind of what I was hoping for because, you know, watching all these guys on YouTube, watching Jasmine and watching everybody really enjoy their lifestyle and really do their thing and have such a good time, it kind of feels like I was letting myself in for something that was too good to be true. So I am actually really pleased to have seen the, the, the other side of things and it was just a it was just a lovely day. So I've also just bought a boat myself um, and that's in Doncaster at the moment. So the, the first thing I'm going to have to do is to um, get it on the trend and sail it all the way down to London on cruise, should I say? Yeah. Um, which is going to be um, a bit of a bit of a trial, bit of a bit of a test. But if the boat's not at the bottom of the canal by the end of it, then I should be a pretty proficient uh, boat handler by the end. Pretty pretty good skipper. Um, I I'm not looking forward to. Well, I should say. Yeah, no, okay, I'm not looking forward to continuing uh, emptying out my own sewage. I'm not, I'm not against <laughs> it, but it's not going to be there. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be the, the, the prime highlight. thing that I'm looking forward to. It's not going to be the highlight, yeah. Um, a few rainy days and such. I know it's now that I'm kind of here and I'm excited to be on a narrow boat, it's not so bad, the kind of rain and the wind and everything. I know when I get up in the morning, I've got to be at work at eight or nine or something, and it's just, you know, really dark and really mm. wet. That's going to be a bit of a bummer, but it goes with the lifestyle, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, waterproof gloves are definitely a must need because today I've managed to completely drench the end of my sleeves. I managed to keep everything else dry somehow, but the end of my sleeves are completely sopped. So I'm probably going to either get a boiler suit like Jasmine or I'm going to get myself some bloody good water waterproof gloves here. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching on this gloomy rainy day we went cruising. Thank you Matt for joining us and yeah, if you'd like to join us again on this narrowboat adventure you can click subscribe down below. If you would like to, you can go over to Facebook and I will repost the videos there. And also, uh, let me know in the comments what is the worst kind of weather that you've ever cruised in. Thank you very much for watching and uh, yeah, have a great day.